Well, welcome to my $8,000 anime figure and manga collection. Let me give you the full tour. Hello all, my name's Daniel and welcome to Twister Geek. So the lights are back on. Can we want to actually see this $8,000 manga and figure collection? So let us start with the main shelf and what you see behind on all my videos. So this is a 4x4 calyx unit. Them drawers and cupboards I used to actually have in this middle section here. But now that the cats weren't using the spaces for beds and things, because now they've got their own little bed there that they sleep in. So I've got a lot of figures in this section. Down here, all my chibi masters. And then in here, we have the Funko Pop Mystery Minis, which are mainly My Hero Academia, and that Mina that took me and Eve forever to get. And in this section, I've pulled some of these from the shelf above, which I'll show in a second. Got some of my sword online noodle stoppers and a few demon slayer figures. My hero gave me a little mini figures. And of course we have my obsession that is Q Poskets. Not being able to get any for a couple of months, but I will definitely be getting some more very soon. I absolutely love these. There you go, Mitsuri, look how cute she looks. And of course, Ichigo. And we go up and we've got a couple more Q Poskets there as well with Rem and Power. And a lot more Rem and Ram figures and stuff in here. So next we have behind this glass door, we have a few more figures. We've got the can call figures at the back there. I got this big one here, came in two parts from a UFO catcher when I was in Japan. Absolutely love that figure. It looks really cool. And we've got Rumor Tempest. This is a fake Funko Pop, which I fully repainted. And I created this base for him there as well. And it's the same for Rumor here. Rumor is actually a real prize figure. But I wanted to experiment with changing the bases from them standard bases. And I done this with it. Kind of like the inside of the cave where you first starts. I'll show you up on screen here the videos that I did for these, as well as linking them down in the description below. The next section starts covering a lot more of my Sword Art Online figures, which is one of the biggest collections of figures I do actually have in the prize figure area. And these are a lot of the X Chronicle figures. I first got a uh, Sinon, thought she looked really cool. And then when I got a hold of her, I just had to start getting the rest of them. And I now do have all seven of these figures. And I think they're all really nicely detailed. Especially since the $30 prize figures, I thought these were just absolutely amazing with the extra detail under them. Absolutely love these. That was my very first uh, fake Funko Pop, which I didn't realize by at the time. But this last section here is some of the very first figures I got on the channel. At the very back there, you still see Kirito and Asuna. Asuna, I won on one of them online crane kind of games you can use. And these two at the front. Of Asuna and Yuki. These were Kuji prizes, prize A's. Again, these are what I got when I was over in Japan. And I managed to get really lucky on the lottery and, and pull out two A's over the course of a few days and got these two figures. I was absolutely chuffed. So now we go to above the shelf. And these are some of the figures you'll see constantly in the background of the videos. One thing you won't really see is all the manga there. These are two bookshelves that I got, which I had to add on top of the shelf itself. And the reason why I topped it on to the shelf here itself it was literally just for more space. The Calyx unit does give quite a lot of depth to it. So because of that, I managed to get these nice bookshelves, which gives me a lot more space to not only put the manga on, but of course, as you can see, I can put figures on in front of them. I've got my giant Shenron there and my collection of Ichigo figures, which is really starting to ramp up lately. I got that, I think, last year, the year before, off the anime. Got this bad boy there. Where you say get these in holification kind of mode. That was an awesome gift for Christmas there. This I bought from a friend at work. And then we've got a few more figures going along the background to the Sword Online ones. And there you can see there as well, these are the last two of the X Chronicles, which completed that full set. Behind we have Naruto, which I bought from a friend at work. Same person I got the Ichigo figure from. I think I'm up to about volume 8 or 9, so I still got a lot more to read there. All my Sword Art Online manga. I'm quite far behind on a lot of them. I did fall behind on a lot of them a long time ago with a few extra the little kind of B prizes, C prizes from the Kuji when I was getting them big figures you saw earlier. So we look at the top there, we've got a few more Ichigo figures. Rising the Shield Hero manga, absolutely love that. I think I'm about one volume behind possibly. i got to double check that. ReZero, I lost track of that fully when I was getting it. Just the kind of way it is set out in multiple chapters and multiple parts rather than just volume 1 to 20. Going across, I've got Bleach Box Set 1. It took me so long to get a hold of this, so long, and I'm so proud I got it, so happy that I got this. Absolutely loved it. 
read through all of that now. Hell's Paradise, that is an amazing manga. The artwork and the visuals are just absolutely stunning. The anime itself was actually pretty cool as well. And behind Tanjiro there, that was my very first full manga set, and that is Full Metal Panic. This is a show I absolutely loved when I was growing up, especially when it gets like some of the really emotional parts near the end, especially when the second raid came out and stuff like that. I absolutely love that. And down to a bit more manga here, some of the older stuff there of Bruce and Rankin in the background. Saw the anime a couple of times, and when I got the opportunity to get this manga, I just had to buy it. The downside is, I think I've read volume one or two, um, but I have, of course, saw the anime. So it's just, it's just one of the ones I just want to have in my collection. A few more figures there from Demon Slayer and My Hero Academia, as well as Dr. Stone. And a few more my Isekai ones in the background, but especially like the random ones like Dungeon Toilet, that was very weird. I've done some weird video on Dungeon Toilet as well, which I can link up on screen and put down in the description below. It's, um, it's, it's quite strange. You got stuff like Death Note, which I started getting the full volumes for. Read through the volume 2, haven't read volume 3 yet. And then Battle Royale, which I absolutely love this series as well. But the downside is trying to get a hold of the manga can be a bit difficult. I got these for a good price, but there is volume 8 missing. And then I thought, I think volume 10 to 12, possibly. I come out of 15, I think there's maybe 15 volumes. So I still need quite a lot of volumes in this. And the price of these can get, well, they can get quite pricey. So we go on and over to the Funko Pop wall. This has drastically changed. On them shelves, so before I used to have Funko Pops going all over them shelves as well. Had little mini shelves on the wall. But recently, I have fully fell out of uh, Funko Pops, not bought anything for ages. This is the last Funko Pop I got, and that was by my wife for Christmas. The full Hollow Hollow Fight Ichigo. This is absolutely awesome. I do like Ichigo, the Ichigo ones. I think I've got 65 Funko Pops left from that, and I think I've sold a total of about 70 or 80 of them in the past year. I completely fell out of love with them. I'm not going to go too much into it. There's a video here that I can link and down in the description below, which explains the full reasons why I stopped collecting Funko Pops. And then this is, I got this month of essentially free from Timu. Uh, this is not enough to Timu first start coming out in the UK and that I can offer. Sign so many people up, blah, blah, blah. Get a free item. Wasn't expecting it. Got this nice Redmi monitor. Really like it, but it doesn't have a verse amount on it. A section, so I can't really mount it to normal monitors. But I've got the old Surface, which I've had for a long time, hooked up uh, to this monitor. And every so often, my daughter comes on and she plays on the computer and plays games and little things like that. Just the sort of game I used to use in the computer a little bit more, and she loves being on there when she can. This shelf section here is a little bit more bare at the moment. A lot of the figures I had on here on this little makeshift shelf I put on is now on like the couch unit down here. That's all them um, down there. They were up on that shelf. And because I created the space, I was able to get rid of them and move them around. This probably is going to change again a little bit. Uh, at the top, I've got my Final Fantasy bits. We've got the High Wind is actually a resin figure statue. It's the only one I've got a resin. I've got all the Dragon Ball figures there from the Advent Calendar. And then I've got my acrylic stand, which I've got stuff from AliExpress and Timo and things like that. You've got the giant Spyro, the giant Mushu, and around the giant All Might. And a wooden sword set from Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy. And it does come all together as one piece, but I thought it was nice just to display it on the wall a bit like that. And then my awesome Cloud Strife figure at the back here, the figure art, which I got from a friend for my birthday many years ago. So before we get fully over and in the setup, to the side of the desk, I expanded my desk with an extra Calyx unit. Got rid of a set of um, black drawers I had, which my little one now uses for all of her toys I put in and organized them. I want some way that I could possibly take like photos of products of the figures in order to just get better, nicer shots for the thumbnails. And this is why I got a set of these newer lights. Same lights as you'll see I'll use on my setup itself. Cool bits of Formex I can put off either side. Put these two lights on, on this little unit here. I do have lots and lots of little gifts and cards and everything from my daughter. Like Father's Day cards, birthday cards, little nice little nickets and trinkets. I absolutely love it. And in the back here, this was actually from a fan of the show. Uh, I sent them some free little gifts. And he actually gives a little drawing back, which is pretty cool. So that's why that's on display there. And this is the start of the setup there. That is my computer with the Ichigo decals on it. I got these decals from AliExpress. Absolutely love these. I think it really just sets off the computer loads. I totally guess I absolutely love Bleach. Bleach was one of the first animes I fully sunk my teeth into when it came out. Started watching from season one. First episode when it first came out. And I watched every week since then. I absolutely love the show. I am going to get another decal as well. I've got this little back panel here. And I don't know if I'm going to get um, a black version of Ichigo's like, mask. Or I'm going to get a kind of mixed version with a little bit of colour into it. 
as you can see, I was trying to go for a full white kind of theme to it, which is in one of the reasons I went for the Sotaka 3060. But the other reason I went for this Sotaka 3060, yes, it's the white edition. But over like the unlike the other 3060s, which are 8 gigabyte, this is a 12 gigabyte version, which just makes it a little bit better for video editing and rendering. So that definitely came in handy there. And that's why I also upgraded to 64 gigabytes of RAM from the 32, just to, I think that definitely does help out. So then here we have my studio and office kind of setup. This is where I watch my anime, play games, do my video editing, the whole lot. These two lights here, these ring lights on the top, are actually newer lights, the same as the ones I have for the little photo booth over there. And these were only about $30, $25, $30 each, like for the, for the pair, sorry. And I think these are absolutely amazing lights. New ones, really good. They're very bright. And they come with these little, they come with these little like color inserts you can put into them if you want to change the color of the light. But but I actually have these other lights here. I've got an Olanzi one here, which is a blue one. And an one here, which is one for fortune. It's just actually died on us. This is what I use for like the pink color you see on my face as well. Pinky purple. So the setup itself has actually changed a little bit. I used to only have the two monitors side by side, which was the 4K one here. And I had an old Dell 24 inch one as well, which was just an HD one. But a friend from where he works was get they were getting rid of loads and loads of monitors and because they're upgrading the whole system. So these are basically going to go in the bin. And I think it's Iami, they're called. And they're just HD monitors. But the extra space this gives me, I can concentrate everything mainly on the main screen, do all the editing, all the watching on the main screen, have all my folders and pictures and little like the emails and everything up on the other screens. It is definitely really handy. So I've got this kind of like, I've got this what they call like a TIE Fighter system set up. I've got a Wormier keyboard just because I really like the acrylic look. I have this acrylic case over the top of it. And that is just because if I don't, the cats fully sit on it, they rub the teeth up against it, they make lots of mess, and I don't want to risk that getting broken. So I've got this nice acrylic case to go over the top of it. Over in the corner, I've got another one of them pegboards with a paint, couple of paintings that my wife did for us. Love the Ichigo one, of course, big fan. And I've got the big massive wall scroll. Got this when we're over in Japan. We're doing an art class when we're over there. And then my guy, person who was showing me how to do it all. He was, I, I don't know if we just got lucky or what, but he was very happy with what we're doing. He was a really nice guy. And he gave with this as a little special gift at the end, which was absolutely awesome. But I carried this around with the whole week and a half we at Japan. So one thing I had to do, so at this site, I do have a four, two by two couch unit, which supports the desk, which I've got my PlayStation over there and the Berserk Manga, since that Berserk Manga is bloody huge. And there's a few excellent for storage of cables and pens and everything like that. But I did have to sacrifice a little bit of leg space. I got another two of them bookshelves. They fit nicely under the desk. Well, originally they didn't, but since when I changed the desk around, I upped the desk a little bit. I put some of these like little stands in there just to give it a bit of extra support, boost it up in order to get these in there nicely. And there we'll go, there's Bleach Box at 2. Awesome. I think I've only read about 10 volumes in that, though I really need to get back to catching up on my manga. I'm really slacking on reading my manga at the moment. So some people might actually wonder where that figure comes from, that $8,000 plus. Dollars. And this is the breakdown of it. There's 114 figures, which averages out about $2,650. I have a few which are in like the $6, $7 mark, and all we're going to a few figures which are in like the $50, $60 mark. The manga, I have... 248 volumes. I think it's actually a little bit more because some of them didn't scan up. Basically, I use this app called Libdib. Lib Libib? Libib. Libib. I'll put an image up on the screen of it, which kind of tracks all my manga files, but certain ones just wouldn't scan. So it's probably around about the 260 manga mark. Uh, but that includes the box sets as one full box set. And the bleach box sets both have 21 volumes in them. So, yep, yeah, it's, it's close to about 300 manga, and that comes out to $3,075. And I also have 65 Funko Pops, from the big ones to small ones and the little tiny ones as well. And they average all around to a price of $2,480, which just takes over the $8,000 mark. Now, this set is already going to expand a lot over the years. It's probably going to add more cupostics onto it, more manga. More figures. I'm sorry, I need, I need to get back to the, the prize figures. One of the reasons I stopped like the Funko Pops as well and the prize figures a little bit was this down to space. So that is my $8,000 anime figure, manga, and studio setup tour. Did you see anything you like? Did you see anything you wanted me to go more in depth with and have a look at closer? Or maybe you're going to like this video right here. My name is Daniel. This has been Twister Geek. Hope you have an awesome week.
Cheers.